Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Pretty Poison, a variety gamer from South Africa. In today's video, we are building a neoclassic architecture type build. Now, this is like... I've never even heard of this before, really. So, I tried to do this build by using a reference from Pinterest. And yeah, in this video, you're gonna see what I ended up building. So, for the interior of this build i don't really know what is the neoclassic interior style so i kind of went with whatever i felt like doing in the interior so just the exterior is mostly the neoclassic type of build style so right now i'm trying to figure out the exterior of this build like the shape i wanted to do like a half circle in the front but it is a bit tricky with um, the sims build styles especially when it came to putting the stairs on this half circle platform it was a nightmare to work with i also do change around a lot of the stuff because i wanted to make it look like the reference image on pinterest but unfortunately i wasn't able to do everything in sims like it, you just can't right so yeah i'm basically stacking the columns here because i couldn't take one column and make it go all the way to the top which was a bit sad because I really wanted to just use one column straight to the top. But then I had to stack two columns just to be able to get the idea of what I wanted to do. Then for by the entrance, I wanted to also give it like almost like a half circle-ish type vibe by the entrance. But I was just struggling so much because of all the platforms. So then I had to keep it flat for the bottom entrance. But I was able to make a little half circle balcony for the second floor. So the roofing part was a bit of a struggle for me. I struggled to get the shape I wanted. But eventually in the end I do like get the style I wanted. So I'm just glad that kind of worked out. So the whole outside exterior of this build. I tried to keep it white colors. Now the inside is not going to be white as well. But the outside is white colors. And you will see there by the half circle at the bottom, the platform, I couldn't put the railings on the circle, although I would have loved to have it on there. I do a bit later on actually figure out a different way to do it, but then I had to remove the stays in the front and just put the stays on the sides. So there is just two single stays on either side and not in the middle. I really wanted the stays in the middle. I feel like that is something Sims is missing at the moment is stairs that goes on the circle platforms because it's great we have now curved walls but what about curved stairs that will like really help builders bring their builds to the next level so for the windows i used on the first floor i used windows from the romantic gardens pack and then on the second floor i used windows from the get to work pack so at the back entrance you guys saw I also managed to make a little half circle type of back entrance. So there it was fine for the first floor but in the front yeah I did not manage that. And now you can see there what I'm talking about is the stairs that I had to just put on the sides. I couldn't put it in the middle in front. It's really sad. Maybe I will do a CC version later on in life for this type of build. So I can actually use circle stairs, but we will see. So now I'm trying to figure out the stairs for the interior. I really wanted to do double stairs, you know, like I have two layers. And I really wanted it to go up to the left and to the right. Because I just thought it is very fancy, you know. But unfortunately, later on, you won't see it in the speed build though. You'll see it in the second part of the house tour because i did it halfway through the house tour i had to change that completely because my sims couldn't get upstairs i think it's because i used the platform i don't know like on the second floor i even opened the the flooring like when you stand on the stairs on the first floor the roof or ceiling above you i made that completely open so there's nothing blocking sims from going upstairs but they just simply refused to go upstairs with the platform and the two stairs so then I ended up having to make one stairs that goes straight from the bottom to the top. But then I did bend it to make it have an angle. So you guys will see that in the house tour, in the second part of the house tour. Like when it's time to go upstairs, then you will see the new updated stairs section. Or you can see it in the screenshots as well. 
But yeah guys, we are now in the interior. As you can see, I went with a green theme. I like never use these wallpaper, these flowery wallpaper. So I thought it looks really pretty in this house though, like with the windows and stuff. I thought it's a nice fit. So you will see like the house. I have now, as you see, this green and wood theme. But the bedrooms is completely different. Like the two main bedrooms is identical. They are more like modern. And then there is two teen bedrooms. One for girl, one for boy. That is now like all teen messy style type of bedroom. But you guys will see that later. So in the kitchen I also put this central counter island with the bar. And then I made use of half walls on the sides just to give it a smoother finish you know. By the living room I also decided to put a buffet table from the wedding stories back because I thought it is really beautiful and it kind of really matched the theme of this interior that I'm busy working on. So I thought that it is pretty cool. And then I add some wall art. I, I like struggle to choose what wall art to put on the walls because I feel like the wall art is really not that great. Like. I would love it if Sims could make a kit with some really nice wall art and paintings and stuff. But for now, I try to work with what I got. By the keto, I put those... I don't know what it is really. It's from the Cool Kitchen pack. It is with the ice cream stuff. Something to do with the ice cream stuff. But I put it there as if it's now like tea or coffee or something. So now I'm just adding all the clutter that I want to use like in the kitchen slash dining room area. So I really wanted to add like a divider between the dining room and the kitchen. So for now I put this one out but I do end up using rather this one from the dine out pack. Which I thought looks pretty cool. But I put it a bit too close to the chairs there by the counter island so I do end up having to move it later on. A bit more backwards otherwise the sims when they get off the chairs they stand in the counter and then they are stuck so at the moment i'm just putting all the clutter placing it where i want it to be and just like piecing it all nicely together resizing some stuff i do end up removing some of the clutter that i placed like like the clutter next to the stove like that clock i had to remove all that because my sims didn't want to use the counter to prepare the meals. I don't understand why because I mean you guys can see there's a lot of space for them to do this but they refuse so I had to remove some clutter. Now this is the downstairs bathroom. It is very simple you know toilet, a basin, I put a mirror and then some plants to finish it off. I don't really know what more to put in a bathroom. I mean a guest bathroom is rather something very simple. There's not really much you can do with it. So yeah, that is what I did there. Now for the entrance, I put some wine racks here. I just went with it because this house doesn't have a basement or a wine cellar. So then I thought, why not put it by the entrance? We have the open space, so let's go for it. Now I'm just placing some clutter here by the entrance, like, you know, coat racks, some shoe racks, the umbrellas, some random boxes. So I went with this coat rack, which I Put slightly in the wall I pushed it back so it looks like the hooks are on the wall and then I just put this basket of blankets on top with the house decorating boxes and then some shoes we put a carpet some plants just to give this little entrance a cute cozy vibe now we head on to the living room now I felt like this house has to have a fireplace it is a must and these couches I use from the, I think it's the Deco to the Max pack kit. And it's really beautiful. Like, I love these couches. They are so pretty. And that carpet, how cute is that rug? But any case, for this living room, I felt like they need an old TV, not a modern flat screen. So I gave them this little box TV, but not the very small one. The one just a bit bigger. And then in this corner, it's like a little book nook kind of corner. Just where they can sit and read some books. And I put some plants around the house just to give it more life. And now I'm getting some clutter but I didn't want to overdo it with the clutter. So I didn't use too much clutter. Just a few items, you know. I feel like a house like this will rather be neat. It, will, it won't be so cluttered up and messy like some of my other builds I've done. 
So yeah, now we can head up to the upstairs area. So first I'm doing the main bedrooms. So there is two main bedrooms which I basically made identical. And the thing color for the bedrooms is white. So I thought it looks fancy, you know. So that's why I went with the white. So you will see I use these tables from the Modern Desert Lux kit. And I, I end up using two of them. So I size the one down and put it next to it just to give it a different look. Not just putting the table there. And the lounger I put at the end of the bed. I did put slightly a bit skew so that it is not too perfect in this room. But however in the other room, the duplicate of this room, I do put it straight. So I felt like I didn't want to do the exact same thing in both rooms. So yeah, that is just me replicating the other room now. And that is that. Really quick and easy. And now we get on to my favorite part of the build, which is the teenager room. So this is going to be the girl teenage room. So some background on the family I built to live here. I mean, you guys can always put whatever family you want to put in here and you can change the rooms how you like. But in any case, the house I made here is for, let's say the grandparents, right? So this is their house. They're obviously rich people. But the, it's the grandfather and then he's... He has a new wife, so I don't know where his other wife is. I don't want to now make a whole background story, but in any case, he has a new wife. So this is now going to be the stepmom, right? She's very young and she's a redhead. She's so beautiful. In any case, you'll see in the house tour. But then also the daughter lives here, the father, grandfather's daughter. And she lives here with her two children. So she has a teenage son and daughter. Now, I don't really think... Are they twins or not? But they could be, I guess, since they are both teenagers. So it is the grandparent with his new wife, the mom, and then the two teenage children. So they're living with their step grandmother. So, yeah, <laughs> that is the story of this family that I moved into this house. So for this teenage girl's bedroom, as you can see, I have a lot of clutter to place here so she has like her plush teddies the penguin the little octopus tortoise thingy and then she has like all her makeup she has some books she also has this laptop so i size down the table of the laptop so that i can use a shelf and it's kind of like a custom desk i built and then i put some clutter also by the desk like you know some pen and paper some makeup books her cell phone all that kind of stuff and maybe she's also a cheerleader i don't know why but my teenage girl sims are always cheerleaders because i put all the pom-poms and streamers and the megaphones in her room but it just is a thing <laughs> so for this room i also wanted to do something a bit different by making the bed a bit lower than the rest of the floor but then in order to do that i had to i couldn't lower the floor because it's on the second floor so i had to raise the other floor so when your sim comes in the door, like by the door, if you're standing outside the door, you will see it is raised a bit higher than the normal floor level. But it is 100% functional and it does work, so I think it's okay. But now we head on to the boys' room. The boys' room color is more like black and cream colors and maybe a bit of white. So his room is now a bit different. It's not like your standard blue boys' room, you know? I think I do end up changing the couch swatch again to a white color. But yeah, so this is the boys room. He's got a TV and a console, a gaming console. So he can play the games on the console, but he will sit on the couch. He can't lie on the bed and play the games, but he can lie in the bed and watch the TV. So that is also cool. I like it if they can lie in the bed and watch TV. That's actually a really fun feature. I'm glad some brought that in. So now we're just adding some of his clutter. So he's also going to have some weird clutter. Like it can be like a sciencey geek type of sim. I don't know why, but I love doing this for the boys' bedrooms. Like, I don't know what else to do really in the boys' bedroom. I mean, you can do cars, but I don't know. So yeah, I'm just adding some weird stuff. I gave him the strange slug pet in the tank. And then I'm just adding some toys like roboty stuff and these lights so it doesn't have too much clutter like in the girls bedroom but yeah that is the teenage bedroom then i'm doing the bathroom so these two bathrooms are also going to be identical i actually do end up copy 
like copying the room and then pasting it in the other room. <laughs> so yes, the bathtub. I also give it a half wall, but later on I do lower the half wall because I thought that was the reason my sim couldn't use the bathtub. But then it turned out it was the issue with the stairs, not actually the bathtub. But then I did leave the half wall raised lower, so it's kind of like a step instead of a half wall. And for the shower I raised the floor one tier up. And yeah, now I'm just adding some clutter, like basic clutter, you know, towels, bathrobe, toilet paper, soap, and the soap tray. I also put this chair in the shower room now. I just put it there for looks. It's not really meant to serve a function. But your sim can sit in it. It's just his legs is going to be in the floor, so it's going to look weird. But like I said, that I just put there for looks. It's not really to actually function and use it. So this upstairs area changes a bit because I had to fix the stairs issue, which I only did halfway through the house tour, so you will see it in the screenshots and the second half of the house tour. But I thought it looks really beautiful the way I did it here. It's just sad I couldn't keep it like that. So in this area I didn't put too much detail. I kept it kind of symmetrical and copied the left side, copied the right side kind of vibes, you know. So the ease are heavy on the balcony, but I do end up putting it inside because I was thinking about the how the house looks from the outside and I didn't want that easel to break the white color because it's brown and there wasn't the white easel. And then outside in the front half circle, I wanted to put a little tea set. So there's a table and chairs with a tea set. I thought it's really pretty. There needs to be a place like I found this house style as to have like a little tea area because it just is beautiful. And then I add these bushes all around the house. It is from the debug menu. Just put it completely around the house. Like I didn't give it too much plants. I kept it basic. Just put some green bushes, you know. And then by the by the paths, I use these rocks and then just created this border for the paths. And then to finish the exterior off, I put these bushes. And then I looked for trees that matched the surroundings that I saw. To the right of this lot i saw some trees there so then i got these trees that matched the surroundings and then i just add another bush to make it look more complete and then just some more dark sand i must say the house is stunning like i love this it's so beautiful but you guys can let me know in the comments what do you think of this old style i wouldn't say i got it 100 i mean it is my first time doing this build and i will hopefully do more later on in the future but that is it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a like, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Please enjoy the house tour and screenshots up next. Poison out.